everyone, Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video showing you how to install the stock AOSP Android 4.2 Jelly Bean ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy Nexus for those of you looking for a stock rooted experience running Android 4.2. First of all, you do need to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed, so do make sure you have one of those. Once you do, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description is going to take you to this website. Shout out to Dreams Forgotten. You'll see uh, up at the top it says dreamsforgotten.net, so shout out to him. But otherwise, you'll see you have two options right here, Gel and Android 4.2. You have DX, which is up at the top, and you have an Odex variant, which is at the bottom. I downloaded the Odex variant, but if you're looking to flash modifications as well, you can download the DX. Um, I'll recommend the Odex, and again, unless you're planning to flash some kind of modifications, then download the DX variant so those are your two options download one or the other it doesn't matter both will be a zip file both are the same method so once you've downloaded that zip file transfer it over to your internal storage on your device and once you have that file on your device go ahead and hit reboot recovery if you have that option within a rom if you do not power off your device and i believe it's press and hold volume up and power button at the same time until it gets into the bootloader then press and uh, go down to recovery if you have any trouble getting to recovery just ask and i'll i'll walk you through it but otherwise hit reboot recovery and it should take you into your recovery all right so rebooted into my custom recovery you'll see i do have team wind twerp recovery so now first of all to install this one i highly recommend making an android backup so go to the backup option if you do not have one just in case anything goes wrong, it will uh, allow you to have a backup to restore um, once you've installed this. Otherwise, though, we're going to need to do a full wipe, so make sure you have everything backed up, your apps, contacts, etc. So go to the wipe menu, do a factory reset, hit swipe to wipe. Go ahead and do that factory reset again. It's going to wipe data. Hit back, go to cache, wipe that as well. Hit back, go to Dalvik cache, wipe that as well. Hit back, now go to system and wipe that as well. And then let that uh, finish wiping, go back, hit the back arrow, and now go to the install button. And find that ROM zip that we transferred over. You'll see mine is AUJ4 odex.zip, and then hit confirm flash. It's going to go ahead and run through and install the ROM for us, uh, the Android 4.2 stock ROM. Uh, I'm going to let it install. It'll take a bit of time, so be patient with it, but I'll be back once it's done. All right, and you will see successful. The ROM is done installing. Now all you have to do is hit Reboot System, and that should be it. So go ahead and reboot your Galaxy Nexus, and then it should go ahead and boot up into Android 4.2 Jelly Bean. The first boot up will take a bit of time. Subsequent boot ups will not take nearly as long just because it's a clean ROM install. But other than that, uh, that's about it. You'll definitely, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. I'm going to be doing a full Android 4.2 review, so you can check that out. I can link to that in the description. There's the uh, boot animation included with this ROM. But otherwise, that would be it. Um, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.